Hi everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom, and here I am with the second Sunday of Shout Out Sundays. And uh, today it's only going to be one person, and there's a reason for that. Uh, you know, when I first started this series, I, or started thinking about it, it was a good month, a month or so ago. And when I decided I wanted to do this, I made a list of people that I knew for a fact that I was going to showcase on this series. And I had criteria for my selection process. And my criteria was basically that I did not want women who were strictly makeup or strictly purses or strictly shoes or strictly buying stuff and showing us what they had bought or people who were strictly doing sponsored videos, or I wanted people who did a little bit of everything. I wanted people, and I'm saying people because women and men, I wanted people who empowered women. I wanted people who made me feel good when I watched their videos. Um, I wanted people who had stories to tell and could tell them through their YouTube channel. They don't all have to be like Susan, a uh, little poet, but they have a story to tell and they can tell it in their own way. But I want it to touch me in a lot of different places. So as I'm growing into this YouTube beauty community myself, uh, I'm finding that my tastes are changing and they're changing big time. When I first started, I was watching all the real young ones just put on makeup and show us all the hundreds and thousands of dollars they had spent. That just, it no longer, it no longer entertains me. My time has become so valuable that I'm only watching people who, if I'm gonna spend 10 minutes or 30 minutes or even longer with someone, I want to know that there's value in it for me in shape, some shape, form, or fashion. So the person that I chose this week is brand new to me. We came to Florida toward the end of May and I found her since I've been in Florida. So real new. I liked her immediately. I, I can't tell you how I found her. All of a sudden, she was there. And you know what? She was supposed to be there. I think the universe put her there for me. So, uh, I decide, as I said, I decided early on that she was going to be, she was going to be one of the first people that I would showcase. She was in my top five. So if you want to see who this is, stay tuned. All right, now listen. I don't know how many of you ever go to someone's channel page and actually read the description. Usually it's how they introduce you. It's not the little short video, but it's in writing how they, what they want you to know about them uh, so that you then can make the decision as to whether or not you want to subscribe to their channel. And, you know, sometimes I will watch someone once or twice before I decide if I'm going to subscribe. But, you know, before I subscribe, generally speaking, I always go to uh, their channel page and go under where it says About and you can read it there. So let's just start, and I'm gonna read this for you in case, whoops, 
in case you have never read it yourself. And by the way, this was obviously written by someone other than this person. It says, based in Dallas, Sharon Capehart is chairman and CEO of Positively Women, Inc., and best-selling author of The Power to Be You. She provides transformational coaching, empowering lectures, and instructional videos on everything from makeup and skincare to fashion and more, all for women around the world. Sharon helps women understand and embrace their full potential, life's purpose and ability to change their environment. I want to impress upon all women that no matter what your age, you can look great and be sure of yourself. Sharon is off the wall and not your norm, but still maintains professionalism in every sense of the word. As an image and transformational consultant and specialist, creator of the award-winning Sharon Capehart TV, the online course Transform Your Life, and the best-selling book The Power to Be You, Sharon provides resources and expert answers to pressing questions about female topics along with the how-to solutions that women want. Well, I have to say right off the bat, when you go to Sharon's channel, her more recent videos, you will see a bookcase behind her. I'm sure this, these are filmed probably in her home office. And maybe not, but in her office. And you can see the bookcase. And on the bookcase are two books that I know she's written. And the one, The Power to Be You, uh, was on my list to purchase uh, as soon as I saw, knew that she had written it. And I, you can look at the book and know she wrote it because her picture's on it. You can see that. But for as long as I can remember, I have been a huge, huge fan, if you haven't guessed it yet, of self-help books. Anything that's motivational, self-help I buy it, I read it, I learn. They are my favorite types of books to read. I, um, just like with the, the movies and TV, I, it's the same with my reading. No blood guts, uh-uh, no killing, uh-uh. I want to read a book and feel good. Um, feel good. So I, I saw that book behind Sharon, and I knew that it was just a matter of time before I uh, got on Amazon and, and ordered that book so that I could read it. But uh, Sharon is just a hoot. I, I suspect that this description that Sharon put here uh, may be the foreword to one of her books. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me. But let me tell you how I feel about Sharon. When I think of Texas women, I think of big hair, I think of big personalities, I think beautiful, I think Southern charm, I think funny because with the big hair and the over-the-top personality, Southern women have to be funny. They have to be able to make fun of themselves. They just do, that's, that's part of it. And all of those things are Sharon. I was sitting in my chair with my earbuds in my ears uh, watching YouTube videos. My husband was over in his chair watching golf, what else? I just happened to be watching a Sharon Capehart video and I started laughing, belly roll laughing. And my husband said, what in the world are you laughing at? And I said, you have to see this. And I rewound the video just a little bit. I look like I have alfalfa in the wrong direction. Now, some of you won't know what that means. Um, I took my computer over to him and played it to him, and he was laughing as hard as I was. 
because you see Sharon is like an open book. Sharon bleaches her hair. Duh, who doesn't? Sharon um, has Botox. She has fillers. She has her lips plumped. And Sharon was telling a little story in her video where she was out somewhere and and someone said, ooh, I like your hair, I like your skin, I love your lips. And Sharon says, silicone, you can have them too. <laughs> now, I did not do that justice, Sharon, and I'm sorry. But you guys have to watch that. She is a hoot. Um, just a hoot. Just who I would I would love to be personal close friends with Sharon and here's why, or at least I would like to be in her some somewhat in her circle in in and around Dallas, because I guarantee you, if I'm at a restaurant and Sharon walks in, everybody will know Sharon is there. If I'm uh, at a function and Sharon is there, everybody will know that Sharon is there. She just has that personality, that huge, huge personality and presence about her that is every bit as big as the state of Texas. So here's what happened. And some of you might be skeptics and you might say, oh, the only reason you're showcasing Sharon, Patty, is because you won her giveaway. Actually, as I said, I had already picked Sharon. Uh, and I think something I didn't tell you, but let me look back at her, her about page. Uh, Sharon joined YouTube in July of 2009, and I went back and The oldest video that I could find was about four years ago. So I, there may be some older videos, I don't know, but, but that was the oldest one I could find. But uh, as of today, Sharon has 1,318 subscribers. And uh, a few weeks ago, Sharon did a giveaway. And for to celebrate her first 1,000 subscribers. Now, let me tell you, I have won a couple of very small giveaways in the time that I've been on YouTube as a viewer. And I have had giveaways on my channel. And my giveaways typically are very, very small giveaways. And there is a reason for it that I'm not gonna say uh, what my reason is, but there is a very good reason why I do small giveaways. Um, I've even considered not doing them at all, but I, I do from time to time. In fact, I'm getting ready to do one, but, uh, but it's a small one. So Sharon was going to do a giveaway for her first 1,000 subscribers, and she was showing what she was going to give away. And Sharon had this box in front of her, and it's that box right there. See, fragile, that's the box, I want it. Well, I watched that video, and I watched that video, and I watched that video, and my mouth was open. I could not believe everything that Sharon was giving away in this, to celebrate her first 1,000 subscribers. It went on, and it went on, and it went on. It was like it was never going to end. Well, you know, because I've, I've just won a couple of small things, and which they were things that I absolutely loved, but typically I don't win anything. I never have in my life. Just a couple of times have I won things in my whole life other than YouTube. So, you know, I thought that somebody, somebody is gonna love this. And I left a little comment you know, the little typical comment, and think, thought nothing more about it. 
And then last week, I noticed Sharon had posted the video where she was going to announce the winner. So I clicked on and knowing that I was hoping that someone I knew would win. So I, she talked for a while and then she had all the names in a hat of some sort, I think, or a box, and she pulled the name. I was not even paying attention when she pulled the name because never in my wildest dreams did I think I would win it. So she evidently had pulled the name and turned the piece of paper around to show it to the camera. And I happened to look down at the time because she had not seen the name. She just, if I remember correctly, I went back and watched it. I think she pulled it and just immediately put the uh, name up to the camera. So I looked at it and I did a double take and then she turned it around and read my name. And I almost fell out of my chair. I was so shocked. I just couldn't believe it. I tell you what, I had watched the video on what was in it, but I didn't pay a whole lot. Of, I just knew that it was over the top. It was over the top. And so I couldn't remember what was in the box. The one thing I remembered was the book. And the, in fact, it reminded me when she did the gift, talked about the giveaway, it reminded me that I needed to order that book. So Saturday afternoon, the doorbell rang. My husband got the, went to the door and he came back and he had this huge, heavy box. And he said, I don't know what's in here, but it weighs a ton. Where do you want it? So I said, put it on the table right there. And I decided to wait and open it on camera. I will tell you that Sharon said that this is nothing compared to what her giveaway will be when she hits 2,000 subscribers. Now, I promise you that should she call my name at 2,000 subscribers, I just, well, here's what I'll do. When she has that drawing, and I don't think it'll be very long before she has 2,000 subscribers, I will um, not even put my name in the hat. I'll just make that promise to you right now. My name will not be on the hat. I'm gonna link the video where she went through everything that's in that box because there's just so much. I'm not gonna pull out every single thing. So we'll look and see some of the things that are in there, but you go and look at that video and you'll get a real good jest of Sharon and her personality and you can see every single thing in that box. As always, I hope that if you already follow Sharon, that you'll leave a comment below and tell everybody else what you think about her. All right, let's turn this camera off. Let me get it over there and we'll open it up.
the last thing in the book, look, or the last thing in the box is her book. Oh, Sharon. And she wrote, she wrote in it, Sharon, you could have sent this book and I would be happy. I would have entered your contest just to get this book. And she sent a card. Now I want to see if it's something that I want to share. Oh, no, it's personal, but thank you, Sharon. Thank you so much. So, gosh, can you believe this? And here's the box. I am, I'm in awe. Sharon, I'm in awe. I knew it was a lot, but I didn't remember it being this much. So, thank you very much. Thanks to all of you who subscribe to me and who are watching this series. I, I've gotten great feedback on it. So, you know, if you like everything that I've said about Sharon, if Sharon feels like she's someone that you want to get to know too and you've not already subscribed to her channel, I hope you'll go over and tell her Patty sent you. And I think that's it. I will see all of you guys next time. Have a great day. Know that I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.